EarthMC is a Minecraft server that has been running for over five years. In that time, nations have formed, wars have waged, and empires have crumbled. Vast amounts of information and lore have been both gained and lost. Six months ago, I began work on an iceberg video for the ages, but even that wasn't enough to catalog all that there is on EarthMC. Much has changed since the release of the EarthMC iceberg video. New details have emerged and more lore has appeared. Many players explained events they believe deserve spots on the iceberg, and I'm proud to announce that this iceberg is getting bigger and better than ever. Though, firstly, before we jump, jump into, into it, it, I'd like to introduce a fellow EarthMC YouTuber who many of you may already know. Please welcome Beaverman. Hey everyone, I'm Beaverman. I make YouTube videos on EarthMC, and today I'll be helping Dabs explain the rest of the iceberg. Welcome to the video, Beaverman. But before we get started, I feel I need to clarify that alongside the new additions, I'll be clarifying some of the unclarified parts of the iceberg that have had new information recently come to light. So come along with us as we explore this new and improved EarthMC iceberg. And if you haven't seen the first video regarding the iceberg, go watch that quickly, as we'll be referencing a lot of info from that video. Such as how these videos were inspired by Miss Koss's video on the Mario iceberg. Or how we'll be using the idea of health to represent how sure we are about a specific topic. Alrighty then, now with that out of the way, let's get right into this. Island. In the first video, I may have mentioned how the Q Island is a lone island floating above the sky where players can linger while waiting to join the real EarthMC server, but a new development has arisen since the video. An entirely new Q Island has been added to EarthMC. It features a set of seven islands, one for each continent, and a final starting island where all of the players spawn. Each continent features their respective recreated monuments, and even a few easter eggs to go around. You can even see the now old Q Island from the new Q. Strangely, despite being what many players describe as the new Q Island, an older one was in the works for the longest time. This Q Island was also featured in the first video as the second Q Island. 32 Gang As the first entry to the iceberg, the 32 Gang is a loosely defined group on EarthMC that consists of users who have added the number of 32 to their username. It is believed that the first player to add 32 before their name was 32 Gold, whose name was in reference to the original 32 Gold it took to create a town. In time, the naming convention spread throughout EarthMC, and even though it has arguably lost its original meaning due to towns now costing 64 Gold to create, it remains the definitive part of EarthMC history. Deadly Fox 2003 On November 25th, 2020, Deadly Fox 2003 changed their username to Deadly Pingu 2003 as a reference to the famous penguin himself, and then he changed it once again on March 5th, 2021 to 32 Deadly 2003. Alongside this, many users have chosen to ignore Deadly entirely, and thus he has largely flowed into obscurity. March 2019 Beta Server the March 2019 beta server was a temporary beta test server for EarthMC while the main server was undergoing the most particularly long maintenance. It was open from March 7th to March 31st. It also doubled as a test to see if EarthMC could handle a 200 player cap. However, unlike EarthMC, rather than using the whole Earth map, the server was limited exclusively to the Caucasus mountain range and the surrounding areas. As the beta server was only temporary, mods were much more lenient concerning what went on the server, and they let people do whatever they wanted, giving anyone who asked creative mode, making a bedrock pyramid over the nation spawn, and spawning a mass over withers. Eventually, after many days of maintenance on the main server, EarthMC had finished fixing itself, and the beta server was permanently closed. Chow 0000000 
Chao Sixtuple Zero was a very controversial player, similar to Deadly Fox, except that he came an entire year earlier. He was notorious for faking his age and seeking attention. He began his journey in Estonia, where he tried to start a communist revolution, but failed. After he failed to garner a revolution in Estonia, he moved to Paraguay and started saving up the gold to make a nation. He started threatening Brazil, Trinidad Tobago, Britain, and Patagonia, and even declared war on Trinidad and Tobago despite not even owning a nation yet. As a countermeasure, Imperial Brazil created the nation of Paraguay before Chao ever could, and Chao had to leave. After a handful of more failed uprisings around the world, he eventually settled down in Hungary, where he temporarily quit on July 21st, 2019. After he came back, he gave Hungary to his friend Valerio, and started town hopping repeatedly until landing up in the Madagascar and town of New Tolorano. However, his new life on Earth MC would be short-lived, as he was banned soon after for threatening self-harm. His sword and armor still rests in the Madagascar Museum to this day. The few city bombings. On May 13, 2019, famous French YouTuber Foothtrill uploaded his first EarthMZ video in a series of videos. In the series, he found the town of Foo's City in Australia. The masses of French people joining the server and filling the queue due to Foo's video sparked anger in many EarthMZ players. And as a result, on July 7, 2019, members of the nation of Glacial Empire set out on a quest to rid EarthMZ of Foo's City. They constructed a flying machine and began flying their way to Foo's City along the way bombing various parts around Foo City. Even though it didn't go exactly as planned, it was still the f first ever successful air raid on a town in the server, and they even managed to record it all and make a YouTube video about the event. The Second Q Island as mentioned before in the Q Island segment, a new Q Island had been added to replace the previous Q Island. However, the Q Island that was added wasn't the second Q Island from the previous Iceberg video, which had been in the works for longer. Though something must have persuaded Fix to develop the new Q Island as opposed to applying the second Q Island. This leaves the second Q Island unused and waiting until the end of time. The Sahara Sand Crisis in EarthMC, nothing is more valuable than sand, and you would think that having a massive desert such as the Sahara would create large opportunities to get sand. But in reality, sand is not a renewable resource. Currently, about 12% or 1 8th of the Sahara's sand has been taken, and the percentage is steadily growing day by day. The Wither Cult the Wither Cult was a wither-worshipping cult created by the nation of Glacial Empire. They would find players and sacrifice them to their wither deities. They would also record their antics for all to see as well. Morgini is a girl. As mentioned in the previous Iceberg video, Morgini, leader of Quebec, is actually a girl. However, due to the release of the previous Iceberg video, Morgini couldn't keep it a secret anymore and chose to instead make an OnlyFans and get rich. Mine Turtle. Mine Turtle 795, often just called Mine Turtle, was another yet controversial player in EarthMC's history. He joined EarthMC on January 31st, 2020, and made a town in China named Guangzhou and joined the nation of Jia. He befriended many players in Jia, and when the leader of Jia, Omoshi Roy Sana, was banned, Mine Turtle was next on the podium to leading Jia, but once he got his role, he kicked out all of the towns from Jia and left Jia. He town hopped for a while before making various nations in an effort to spawn trap players, such as Fiji and South Africa. However, after his purchase of South Africa, mods declared that the spawn trap be illegal, and Mine Turtle received his fifth and final warrant before his ban. After a failed appeal, the strangest turn of events occurred. Mine Turtle revealed that he was actually a Gagovial the whole time who was mentioned in the previous Iceberg video. Skyfair's Ashes The story goes that one day the mayor of Nagasaki was working on his town when a player named Tech said that his IRL friend died and he wanted to be buried in Japan. So he wanted to do something for him on EarthMC. 
It was decided that he would be buried on an oceanside garden pavilion. However, during a war between Chi and Japan, a wall was built around the pavilion, causing the site to be outside of claims and therefore damageable by any. The player by the name of Mock found the burial site and opened a chest containing bones named Skyfair's Ashes. And after taking the bones, he proceeded to have a week of bad luck, including the death of his cat. After hearing about the event, a player named Stellar had the idea to rebury them under the massive secure tree in Tokyo. And that's where it rests to this day. There's much speculation over what really happened to Skyfair's account. Evidence pointed to the account being hacked or the owner never dying at all. But nothing is known for sure. To this day, Skyfair's ashes remains like a creepy pasta of sorts in Japan and other territories. The Empty Land Effect the empty land effect is a satirical principle that states, if it's land and if it's empty, someone will make a nation there. While originally a joke, this principle affects all of Earth MC, but seems to be concentrated in certain areas such as Indochina, which has had seven different nations appear in a relatively unknown part of the world. Earth MC enthusiasts are still speculating on whether there is an actual science behind this, or if it's just a series of trends between unrelated Earth MC players. The Inuvik Crusade Inuvik was a nation resting upon the very edge of the world in the northwestern Canadian archipelago. It was ruled by Tice, a very unscrupulous leader. In his free time, he would go to new towns that regularly sprung up on the eastern coast of the continent, kill their residents, and take their things. Many of these towns and individuals were members of the religion of Pissism, which I had explained in a previous video on the subject. In short, Pissists believe in the Ball God, an entity said to grant them protection so long as they place structures known as PPs in various locations. In traditional Pissist fashion, these Pissists plan to get back at Tice for his attacks on their own land, and they would do so in what is known as the Inuvik Crusade. A squad of Pissists took the long trek from central Canada all the way up the Coppermine River and into the Northwest Passage as they neared Inuvik's capital. Once there, they placed several PP structures, including a massive object known as the Trojan Rooster a structure where one of the crusaders waited in sight of for 10 hours to see Tice's reaction. And oh boy, was Tice's reaction worth it. As many of the crusaders were members of the United States, this event could have been a direct catalyst to the Canadian-American wars that soon followed. It may have also played a role in causing the EarthMC Boston bombings. Fix is a monarchist. While EarthMC contains a variety of different nations and cultures, all of the most successful nations follow a constitutional monarchy, with a figurehead who owns the nation and an elected prime minister or president who shifts every month or so. This leads many to assume that Fix is secretly a monarchist, as all other ideologies are slightly inconvenienced. The New Jersey Curse The New Jersey Curse is a curse that is rumored to affect New Jersey. It is said that any alliance or larger entity that New Jersey joins falls in due time. This has affected many instances of the United States and other entities as well. Could New Jersey have a supernatural alliance degrading effect? Maybe. Maybe. Well then, now you actually know the whole EarthMC iceberg from surface to trenches, from the oldest and most legendary info to just recently birthed lore. Maybe you'll even contribute to EarthMC's vast swaths of stories one day. Hopefully, we won't need to make another of these in a month's time. Nevertheless, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.